Hey guys, welcome to The Faithful Prepper. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about how to get started on your food storage and emergency preparedness. I know many people get overwhelmed by this subject. I feel like many times um, if you bring it up or start talking about it, people almost like, they like freeze. It's like <laughs> they can't breathe or something or they just automatically get overwhelmed and think it's just too hard and too complicated. So I want to be here. That's a big part of why I'm starting this channel because I just hope to be um, inspiring. I hope to motivate. I hope to encourage you guys to show you that it doesn't have to be overwhelming or expensive or complicated. That you can get started today exactly where you're at with what you have. You don't have to wait on anything else but yourself. So the first tip that I want to say is do not get overwhelmed. I know this is hard because once you start getting into food storage and really learning about emergency preparedness, you might even start hearing different terms that you've never heard like EMP or a bug out bag or just anything that you don't understand or that you've never heard of or you might just get overwhelmed because you've never done some of these things before um, like canning for example guys many people equate canning to food storage and that is not the only way to store up your food storage I personally have never ever canned <laughs> which some people are very surprised by because they're like, you say you're this prepper and that you're, you've are you been an emergency preparedness specialist in your church. And anyways, they're kind of surprised by it. But again, one thing does not equal food storage or emergency preparedness. You can know nothing about it and you can still store your food and be ready for emergencies. Again, maybe you have areas that you are really good at Maybe you're great at canning. Maybe you're great at gardening. Maybe you have a degree or um, knowledge in the medical field. So just start where you are most comfortable. Don't get overwhelmed, okay? Just let go anything you don't know about. Either say, I don't know about that and I'm not going to worry about it. Or maybe it is something you want to learn more about and you want to get into those things that you um, feel that you don't have a lot of knowledge on and that you don't understand you guys, there's the internet, there's YouTube, there's Google, there's your friends and family. There are so many ways that you can learn nowadays anything you want to learn. So the next thing I want to encourage you, wrote down on my list again so I don't get sidetracked, um, is do not care what others think. Do not worry about what your mom your father-in-law, your friend, your church member is doing, or what so-and-so so -and -so says to do, what I say to do, just because I said, hey, these are my tips, you know, get your water first, your food, then your medical. If something overwhelms you and you don't want to focus on one of those things, then don't worry about it. Just focus on what you're comfortable with and what excites you the most, what gets you the most excited. For me, I did not start with water. I started with food. I was just like, oh, food just sounds easier to grab some cans and to just start stocking up like that, get some extra ramen noodles on hand, just sounds easier. So just start where you're at. No one is going to walk through your home. There is not a food storage Nazi that is going to come and knock on your door and say, hey, you should have done this this way and you should have done this first and why haven't you done this? Guys, this is just your life, your family's life. You can do it however you want to do. Just get started and don't worry what anyone else thinks because they're not watching you anyways. Okay, the next little tip I have here is to start small and start cheap. Many people... Um, a big hold back excuse, whatever you want to call it, would be um, money, the expense. And I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be expensive. Guys, beans, rice, 
it's not expensive. It's You can start as little as you want. You can go get a very small thing of rice. You can grab one extra can of food. You don't have to make this into an expensive thing. Um, that will, I think, I believe that'll be my next video, is how to afford your food storage. And guys, I started with $5. $5 every grocery trip. I would go about once a week, and I would spend $5 grabbing a couple extra cans, a thing of peanut butter, an extra gallon of water. Little tip is to have a goal. Write your goal. I don't care what that goal is. It does not matter. It can be next time at this, I am at the store, I'm grabbing one gallon of water. Guys, it doesn't matter what it is. Or maybe you have a lot of money and you want to get going quicker and you start writing a list of things that you want to get or that you want to learn. Just make a goal and do it. And I encourage you to even write it in the comments to write, here's my goal. And when you achieve your goal, um, come back and reply to it and say, hey, I achieved my goal. I achieved my goal today or whenever it is. But just please, today, take time. I really encourage you to start with a prayer because no one knows you better. Your own personal needs, your family's needs. Maybe you have allergies. Maybe you have medications you're taking. There's just so many different factors and what's going to happen um, with your life personally, what trials will you face? I really encourage you to start with a prayer, to follow the spirit on what you should do. You know, get your phone out, get a pen and paper out and write down your goals. You know, maybe it's to get a two week supply of water or whatever it is. Just please, please, please do it. Follow through with those promptings. I've had so many Literally, I had multiple friends this year um, that at the beginning of the year were prompted and had a feeling to get extra toilet paper. Guys, no one knew, no one could have guessed that we'd have a toilet paper shortage this spring. Like, it was crazy. Even my own husband just literally, I want to say a week or two before it hit, we were at the um, store, I think we were at Costco, and he was like, hey, because we're always, like, this is what I do. This is my life. I'm always preparing. And it's really a lifestyle. It's just kind of another thing that you're always um, stocking up on and getting a few extra. And my husband said one day, he's like, I really feel like we should get some more toilet paper. And we had a little bit of extra, but long story short, we were also living in Maine at the time for a couple of months. So we had most of our stuff in storage and just had a little bit of stuff with us um, in our home or in my sister's um, second home that we were staying in. Anyways, it was just crazy that my husband had that exact prompting and, you know, so I listened to him and I trusted him and I thought, well, okay, let's get a couple extra things of toilet paper. And same with a number of friends I've heard of that had the same thought, even some of them, even before any of this started, it was even in January or the end of last year that they felt you need extra toilet paper you need to stock up on toilet paper especially some of my friends that have a lot of kids like seven kids and so anyways i just want to encourage you to start small don't get overwhelmed don't worry what others think of you just do it today make a plan as little or as big as that is or make your um take it you know one step at a time Say, this is my first goal, my first step. Once I get that done, this is what I'm going to do. And just do it one step at a time, you guys. We cannot go up. We can't just jump up a flight of stairs. We've got to do it one step at a time. And whether you're sprinting up them or you're very, very slowly putting one foot in front of the other, you are still doing it and you're working towards your goals. So I just want to encourage you. I have faith in you. I believe in you. Yes, this random lady on YouTube believes in you, and so you should believe in yourself. If you guys have found this video at all helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Like I said, I would love to hear your comments below. I want to hear some of your goals or questions that you have. Just leave them down below. If you have any friends or family that you think could benefit from this video, 
go ahead and share this with them. And if you would like to see more of this type of content, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. As always, guys, hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. And if you are prepared, ye shall not fear. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I hope you have a good one, and I will see you next time.